The following video is rated PG-13, which may contain scenes and themes unsuitable for viewers under 13. What do you mean he's You already got the message, Callum. Wasn't that enough? You're grieving. You need to seek some comfort. Just leave me alone. Now. He has betrayed me and thinks that Talus is more important to him than us. I am not going back to that godforsaken town ever again. It's Lola. She's left me with the kids. What? Logan, how much does this house cost? About $15 million. That case, I'm all in! Done. <laughs> I want to be there when they scatter Simon's ashes. I want to be there for the funeral. It's understandable, and you need to care about your kids and yourself. Their injuries were so severe that they, unfortunately, couldn't make it out alive. They're dead. I'm, I'm really sorry. In the rain, my kick by your highland, it can strawl by all of the sun. Tyler, what's the matter? Lola has been in an accident. What? Is she all right? She has lost a kidney, and she is in critical condition. But what about the kids? Are they okay? They're dead. They're all dead. Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> Why? Why would this happen? How could Lola do that? It was only an accident, Tyler. You can't blame her for that. Why can't I? This woman has destroyed my life. She's taken my kids away, and now look what happened. Tyler, calm down. We're here for you. Just please keep it down. Hi guys, I'm home. Man, that traffic was hell. What? Have I come at a bad time? Avril, listen, I think we should all sit down and have a talk. Talk about what? What's happened? Well, this is not a nice way to come back after a honeymoon. Yeah, poor Sharon, she must be gutted. I mean, how did this happen? How could anyone die from a terminal illness the same day they were diagnosed? It's life, Finn. It happens. But not like this, it's extremely rare. I know. Maxwell, we're really sorry about your dad. We'll have your condolences. Thanks. Such a tragedy that your father had to die so soon, huh? It felt too soon. This is just not fair. I know it isn't, but we have to respect and mourn that man. Are you sure you don't need anything? Uh, no thanks. I'm fine. Sharon, you are not looking fine enough. You're still grieving. Ah, and? Do you think I'm coping enough? I should just go to the nearest bar and get- Just take it easy, alright. All we do is wait for the funeral to begin. What are you doing here? Listen, I've only come to say how sorry I am about- No, don't. I don't want to hear it. You've been treating Simon like hell. But I didn't even sleep with him, I swear. Shut up. You've put him through enough misery, and do you know why? Because you were the reason that my husband is dead. Excuse me. Yes, you heard me. You killed my husband. That's not true. I didn't do anything to him. Liar. You messed with his head, and I've had enough of it. Mom, stop it. People are staring. What? Truth hurts, does it? If you're not happy with me being here, I might as well go. Yeah, go on. Leave and go find another man to sleep with. That's enough.
perfect. Wow. Did you do this all by yourself? Yeah, it was too easy for me. Man, it looks cool. The size is worth it. I know. Hopefully we should get some hungry customers coming in here to eat. In that case, I'm looking forward to the opening tonight. Me too. Guys, you won't believe who just won the mayoral election. Really? Who? Bumper Joe Hooper. Hooper, Hooper used to be in the comedy business until he joined politics. Profile picture looks like him being dressed up as a clown. What? A comedian won the mayoral election? Is this a joke? No pun intended. That's interesting. The other Humberto also used to be the mayor. Right? Maybe. He has been in this position until he got killed. Assassinated? Killed by a deranged serial killer more like. Whatever happened to him, let's hope this mayor will put up a smile to our faces. Excuse me. What are you doing here? The pub hasn't opened yet. Just checking around the place. Nothing much. Oh, are you the newly elected mayor of this town? Yup, that's me. The clown party is ready for service. I get you anything drinks, food. Just a small cup of coffee would do. Recall, I own a restaurant at the top of my house. You can check it out if you wanna. Sure, I'm in. So what is the story, boss? Same old, same old. We all finished with that threatening bastard. Now we just need to keep an eye on what those waterhole people are up to. He just had a chat with Silvio this morning. He said something about Nathan S. confidential FBI files. I don't care about those files. Nathan still had to die for betraying our mafia. Exactly. We should have prevented those bastards from killing Timothy Reed. If he was still alive, and so were the Iron Dogs, we could have finished where they left off. But what is the point? The Iron Dogs have failed. Not once. A lot. They attempted to overthrow Swift Brook last year, but it was botched. And what about nuking the whole country? Also botched. It's just a mafia, boss. Gangsters don't use bombs. Not even nuclear bombs. Besides, we called the stopped Shanti from killing Timothy Reed. Wait. She, she killed Timothy? It's quite a possibility, I'm afraid. 